Hey Virgo, this is Revan, otherwise known as Cosmic Alignment, and this is your weekly forecast for the week of January 14 to the 20th of 2019. So in this weekly forecast, I'm going to go over the major planetary aspects slash configurations that reflect the state of the collective evolution and I will be contextualizing these aspects specifically for your energetic frequency Virgo that way you may know how and what cosmic energies will be affecting you for the week so if you're into that type of thing I am so happy that you've tuned in and let's get right into this this weekly forecast is going to be split up and divided into two parts the first one's going to be more of a general collective reading the second part will be specifically contextualized for your specific sign the idea is to kind of get an idea as to what we're going through collectively and then how that is being funneled down and channeled through you specifically and uniquely and in that way we become aware of our role within this collective evolution that we are all participating in. Okay, so let's get into part one. I want to start off this reading by communicating the fact that according to astrological wisdom, the relationship between the lunar nodes, the north and the south, and Pluto reflect the karmic evolutionary axis of the soul and that the natal position of Pluto reflects pre-existing patterns of our identity that this soul naturally gravitates towards in this current incarnation. So by sign and aspects, Pluto in this incarnation will reflect the desires deep within the depths of the soul or otherwise known as the underworld or the unconscious. Like the moon, the lunar nodes reflect the ebb and flow of our indwelling spirits, past and future interplay and dynamic in the present, and only indicate vessels and containers, ways of being, patterns and behaviors that we can use and have available to actualize and to fulfill our soul's evolutionary intention. The south node reflects the previous egocentric structures, our inherent abilities in this life. In our present incarnation the north node reflects the evolutionary egocentric qualities and experiences that will allow the soul to grow to evolve and to actualize the evolutionary intention in this present incarnation having said this currently pluto is in capricorn's 21st degree and the south node is in capricorn's 26th degree they're exactly five degrees apart with the exact conjunction coming on the 4th of April, 2019. If Pluto reflects pre-existing patterns of identity and the South Node reflects previous egocentric structures of previous lifetimes, what does their conjunction mean in the archetype of Capricorn? What does it mean about our collective evolution and what we're currently experiencing as a collective and individually? According to Jeffrey Wolf Green, the founder of evolutionary astrology in his book pluto volume one the evolutionary journey of the soul he states that pluto conjunct the south node indicates one of three possible conditions one the individual is in an evolutionary and karmic reliving condition because of a failure to deal with and or resolve successfully the issues described by the house and sign that pluto and the south node fall in two the individual is in an evolutionary and karmic fruition condition in which in the past there has been so much effort in which whatever area is in question with so much pure intention that the individual is now reaping that which they have sown before. The individual has some kind of special destiny to fulfill. Thirdly, the individual is in a simultaneously evolutionary and karmic condition in which certain conditions from the past must be relived while other conditions are in the fruition condition. So the house and the sign positions of Pluto and the south node will indicate and describe these issues and these conditions. According to Jeffrey Wolf Green, the first two conditions are rare. The third condition is the most common whenever Pluto conjuncts the south node. This conjunction is occurring within Capricorn, 
Capricorn reflects the evolutionary lesson of how to establish our own individuality and authority within the culture and society because any society and or culture must establish laws, regulations, customs, taboos, and the individual must work within the society or culture and conform to these rules so, so that they can climb, so to speak, this ladder, be integrated and stable within this collective whole. So in other words, Capricorn reflects our need to link our own ideology and philosophy of life and identity within the framework of society, culture, and the nation wherein we live. This is the evolutionary necessity and development representing progressive societalization of the individual, wherein in Libra we began to create relationships and partnerships closely. Now in Capricorn we look to establish our own presence within the collective, within our community and our network, within our society and culture. Collectively, this conjunction between Pluto, the underworld, the desires of the soul, the South know the past egocentric structures that we have used in the past, which really just means the ways that we have utilized this Capricorn energy, which again, Capricorn has to do with establishing and linking our own personal truth and individuality with our culture and society. It's basically that polarity between our selfish need and wants and hobbies and the demands of this culture and the world that we live within. Let's remember that Capricorn works with Saturn. Saturn is the law of the four elements. It is the life lessons, it is karma, it is the responsibilities and the duties and the dharma truly of the soul. This is why Capricorn climbs that ladder, whichever ladder you wish to climb and integrate into that community, that culture and its standards and culture and laws and regulations that uphold its own structure are the laws and regulations that you must learn to integrate and link your own individuality within. So, you know, again, just think about what you want to link your individuality to. For example, as a musician, how do you want to, you know, actualize that truth, that individuality, that self-expression within culture? Now we know we have social media platforms that allow us seriously like vertical you know, links and connections to our audience. You don't have to go through some, you know, marketing company or some big record company to be able to be distributed worldwide. You have the internet now. You know, this is basically learning to live within our culture and society. And of course, this applies to you if you live in the Western world or, you know, in the, you know, modernized world of 2019, of course, and within that culture and society, there are certain, you can say, ways of being that you must learn to integrate to be able to succeed in that culture and or society. And this is what Pluto slash South Node slash Capricorn are reminding us that we must link our personal truth, our personal individuality, those passions with our culture our society and the community which we live in we much we must actualize that individuality and link it and make it practically useful in our society and collective role this is that call to action from spirit currently to either revisit and relive the failures that we you know have experienced in the past and that therefore we experience currently because we need to alter the source of it which is our behaviors or patterns that don't promote you know or support our achieving in the society you know we must relive those and you know karmically have to release ourselves from those bondages by transcending that way of being or two we're either having this fruition process where you know, we might be experiencing achievements, fulfillment, abundance, prosperity in terms of when we've linked our personal truth and individuality with our society and our culture, or thirdly, a combination of the prior two, wherein in some aspects of our life, 
things seem like they're karmically having to be relived, to be learned, and to be released. And secondly, there's also other aspects which we are like, whoa, we just knew it. We just knew that, you know, if we express ourselves in this area that like, it would just rain upon us with abundance. We just knew that like, that was the key to unlocking, you know, our happiness or just living our best lives. And the universe responded positively. And in other areas, maybe not so much, but this is due to having to relive and to learn and to be transcending that level of being. And this is what Saturn, you know, express in that form will manifest as. So to summarize it, this energy collectively is calling us back to this need to link our personal individuality with our social role and or cultural role. How do you make your purpose link to society and practically useful for the collective is the question of this conjunction. And again, this is not a conjunction that's just occurring this week or last week and this week and next week. This has been in at play. Pluto in Capricorn has been exposing all the ways that we've failed to do so to link our personal evolution and individuality with our culture and society and maybe this is why it's a big conversation right now to embody your truth and not to hustle but to align at the same time we see uranus forming a square between the lunar nodes and at the same time representing this new innovation of self currently in the process that is at one end releasing old ways of being and challenging that status quo security that we've had for so long and at the other end challenging us to push ourselves forward to propel ourselves progress ourselves and reinvent our own personal identity last week on the 11th of january the sun the spirit the center the, the heartbeat of the solar system conjunct and illuminated pluto the underworld and capricorn this week on the 16th of january the sun illuminates the south node the dragon's tail our past based ecocentric structures in capricorn we are currently you know being either one exposed in terms of our failures and being called to again put our efforts into linking our personal individuality with our with our society our culture and our community and or being shown how you know we have accomplished to do so or somewhere in between where we can see like day and night where we are shining when we're expressing our individuality in our culture and society and to where we are not but there is like always, self-reflection and self-adjustment that is then required whenever Saturn comes back around to reflect what is not working in our own reality. This is the collective reading for the first part of this weekly forecast. Hey Virgo, so this is the second part of your weekly forecast for the week of January 14th to the 20th. So this week, we see no planets in Virgo. However, we look at the planet of Mercury and we see that it is in Capricorn in the center of this whole little vortex of energy happening in Capricorn. So Virgo, you have a very sharp and keen mind that's very grounded and practical naturally with all this energy stellium in Capricorn and Mercury, the intellect, the mind, which rules your analytical skills and your way of thinking, Virgo. In Capricorn, with this whole stellium, is drawing your own thinking towards the area of thinking about your long-term plans and objectives. It's about thinking about what do you want to accomplish for the next year, this is, yeah, a collective energy, but for you, it's making your way of thinking very, you can say, self-reflective, very self-contemplative. You're capable of sitting down and taking notes longer and outlining and meditating for longer periods of time because there's this slow-moving 
influence of Saturn, this patience of Saturn seeping into your way of thinking, having you think about long-term objectives and goals. And it's important to remember, Virgo, that you can accomplish whatever you set your mind to. Sometimes Virgos have what is called commonly an inferiority complex. And this is because in Leo, the previous sign, we become full of ourselves, narcissistic. We become so, you know, drenched in our own uniqueness and light because that's necessarily through evolutionary necessity that is required out of Leo to be ruled by the sun, our divine self, our uniqueness, our own purpose. But in Virgo, there's a humbling effect happening with the ego. There's a purging and a detoxing of all that narcissism and selfishness. And sometimes it can go too far into critical self fault finding and inferiority complexes occurring as a result of this perfectionist streak that goes too extreme into the area of fault finding and always nitpicking at the self and never being satisfied with the self. So in terms of planning out what you can do for the next year, don't underestimate what you can do. You, yes, are learning this evolutionary lesson of purity, of, you know, humbleness, of being of service. But at the same time, this is not meaning to say that you are limited in any capacity to be self-expressed. It's hard to be very specific with these readings because there's there may be a lot of you Virgos that have a lot of Leo energy or a lot of you Virgos that have you know a lot of Pisces energy or it's just a whole crazy combination right so it's just hard to pinpoint an accurate interpretation just based on your sun sign but this is just energetically what is influencing the archetype of Virgo this was your weekly forecast for the week of January 14th to the 20th of 2019. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please go ahead and like if you would like these weekly notifications. When I publish these forecasts, please go ahead and subscribe. I hope you have a great week and I hope I see you next time. Peace out.